Hey YouTube, this is New York City Cichlids coming at you with a DIY project. Now do you have any old cell phones or smartphones laying around that you have no idea what to do with and don't plan on selling? Well today I'll be showing you how to turn your old phone into a security camera or a webcam. You know like those that you see on the Apex or other video streaming systems where you can actually keep an eye on your house or keep an eye on your fish tank since this is a fish tank channel I actually been using one it works over your Wi-Fi or over your internet connection and it's an IP camera or a webcam and you can easily just monitor your reef tank or your African cichlid tank or any type of tank now let's get started this can be an iPhone that runs iOS or any other type of phone that uses the Android operating system. And in this video, I'll be using an iPhone 6. Uh, this phone has a cracked screen, it's been laying around doing nothing. I actually use my other phone to record, so I'll be using this phone to show you how to do it. Now if you upload videos to YouTube, then I'm pretty sure you have a pretty fast wireless network at home. But if you don't, this is the wireless router that I use. It's a Netgear AC1900 Nighthawk. Can't get faster than this thing. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to do this on an iPhone. So if you're using an Android, it's pretty much the same thing, the same steps, but the app that you will need to download for an Android will be the IP webcam. That is the name of the app from the Google Play App Store. Now the ManyThing app is available from the Apple App Store and it's a pretty easy to use application. The third item that you will need, and this is up to you, is your mount. You can decide how you want to mount this, if you want to put it on a glass, if you want to stand it up. How do you want to mount your cell phone or your new IP camera? You can use clips. There's a million different types of mounts that you can use. Some smartphone tripods are a good idea also. Just make sure that they are out of the way so nobody will knock them down if someone's home. Now this is an important item. You need to have your phone on a charger. I mean, think about it. Your phone is going to be streaming over the internet a video. It is streaming a video to you, to your cell phone, wherever you are. So you need a charger to constantly charge your phone. The battery will drain. Now setting up the camera is actually the easy part. After you've installed the ManyThing app, you will need to make an account. You can easily make this with just putting a uh, email and password. Let me point out that you will need to install the ManyThing app on the old phone and on the phone that you'll be watching. Now the phone that you have set up as a camera at home, this is the phone that on the app you will need to select camera as you can see on the screen. On the phone that you'll be taking with you, which is the phone that you currently use, you'll be setting it up as a viewer. So you would just click the viewer button as you see on your screen. Now, as soon as you leave your house, if you have a wireless connection or an internet connection, you can start viewing the camera on your new phone. Now, I hope you have enjoyed this video and you find it useful and have some fun with your camera. Remember, you can use this as a security camera or you can use it as a camera to view your tank. Make sure that everything is running okay. I know a lot of reefers that have video cameras or webcams on their sumps or on the refugium or on the actual display tank. You just wanna have a peace of mind and keep an eye on your things. Enjoy and thank you for watching.